Alex Edler was in the crosshairs against the Toronto Maple Leafs after a knee-on-knee hit against Zach Hyman. And he ended up dropping the gloves with Wayne Simmons early, taking a bit of a beating. And I thought, good on you, over and done with. But a guy I respect a lot, Ian McIntyre, friend of the show, went on Twitter and said this. No Canucks took issue post-game with Wayne Simmons forcing Alex Edler to fight. Simmons had 77 NHL fights, Edler zero. The code is supposed to be about respect. There was none shown there. Want Edler to fight for a hit on Hyman? Fine, but send somebody else. And the tweet sparked a pretty good debate on Twitter, I thought. Kevin, I'll start with you. Agree or disagree? Well, the problem is with the code is it's not the same all the time. So Ian McIntyre reached out to me about his opinion. He wasn't happy about it. I didn't even respond to him because I knew I'd probably be talking about it today. I'd rather say, say what I feel for myself. In this particular situation, and let's keep in mind, Alex Edler is probably, probably my, one of my best, if not top three friends that are still playing in the NHL. I've already talked to him about it. I texted him after the game and hoping he was okay because I knew he took a shot there. And I said to him, I thought that was a great job of you fighting Simmons there. He goes, I'm 36 years old and I just got my first NHL fight. And he was totally fine with it. The reason why this is a good thing was because, as you noticed, after the fight, it was squashed. Nobody on the Leafs were taking extra runs at at Edler. Nobody was trying to hit him from behind. Nobody was trying to cross-check him. Nobody was trying to take vicious runs. or You didn't even see anybody beaking at him. The thing about the code that people don't understand, and Ian McIntyre is one of those guys, is when your player takes out another player, so Edler takes out Hyman, for retribution... You don't get a fair fight. That's not the code. You don't get to fight a guy that's your equal. You're supposed to take your licks because Hyman's out now. You know, it was a dirty hit, and I told everybody when I explained Edler's hit, it's not premeditated. When you stick your leg out, it's just something, it's a reactionary thing because you don't want the guy to get around you. So it is, it is Edler's fault, but I definitely don't think it's a premeditated dirty hit. So I think, you know, and if Edler would have said no to this fight to Simmons, I, I'm pretty sure Simmons would have just kind of threw him around a little bit and skated away and let him have it. But Edler stood up to the challenge. He took his lumps. It's good because it was a one-sided fight, and, and Simmons got him with one or two. He didn't hurt him, but he got him with one or two. So I feel like both sides are happy now. Like, that's, that's the code. That's the fairness. I don't, if you two could agree or disagree, but that, that's just the way I see it. Without any bias or any favoritisms for Leafs, you know, Canucks, my friend, my, the guy I fought twice, I think it was, a, it was handled the proper way. Feuds? Yeah, I couldn't, I mean, especially coming from someone that the way Kevin played and with the, you know, and abiding by the code and how, how honest he was when that, that aspect of the game, I, I just left it, I was, I, it sounds crazy, and I mean, Simmons is obviously someone I'm really familiar with, but I left with a heck, a heck of amount of respect for Edler um, for, for taking it. I mean, I know when, when Tuchuk ran Doughty, um, and again, this gets back at it, I mean, it was crazy because nobody stood, I mean, it, we ended up, and, and Jake Muzzin fought Doughty, and it just didn't make any sense to me. You know, and to Chuck got the best of Muzz, so it didn't make any sense. He, he, there was never any proper re- retribution, um, as far as and, and everybody left unsatisfied. That's why the thing still goes on. I mean, it's not uh, gone on so much this year, because it's never been. There's never been closure brought to it the way I think that episode closed last night. Um, but the, it, but I, I was trying to draw a parallel to it because the Leafs are obviously showing they've had this reputation of being a soft team, that they, they do care about each other and they didn't forget it because I didn't like the fact that nothing was done in that game at that time. Uh, but I still, I go back to a, like a team like Winnipeg right now and I, I look at the, the, the hit that Galchenyuk put on Lowry and uh, Lowry's a pretty tough customer. And I, and I don't know if Winnipeg crosses swords. It's almost a similar thing. Like, we'll get, will we'll Galchenyuk <laughs> right. step up to the plate and take his licks from uh, Lowry? I just think, I, I just left that thing as much as, you know, you, you don't like to see anybody hurt, but I left that thing going, you know, he didn't get that hurt. Simmer, Simmer stopped punching. Uh, the message was sent and it was over and done with. See, this is the part that I don't think a lot of people get. And, and Kevin, correct me if I'm wrong here, because I just listened to my old man who tells me uh, about the code. But what, what happened here was once Edler takes his medicine, the game isn't at a 10 or an 11. 
the game can go where no one's looking over shoulders. It at, people think like the code heightens what is already a rough game, but what it does is it actually brings it back down to a manageable level where the stars aren't looking over their shoulder because the retribution has already been gained. Everyone understands that it's squashed and that game can go on as it normally would. Listen, if, if that fight doesn't happen and you see the pitcher behind you there, Tim, Simmons did let up at the end and you could already see the respect by the end of the fight. He, he laid off, he held his arm out, he didn't hit Hedler one or two extra times. If Edler doesn't take that fight, Simmons probably pushes him around a little bit. Maybe he takes a roughing penalty, but you know what? The, the rest of the Leafs are going over and they're taking runs at uh, Bo Horvat right. or JT Miller or probably, probably Quinn Hughes. And that's the way I was. Listen, if there was a guy in the other team that did something to my player that was dirty and he wouldn't step up to the plate, I'd say, you know what? I'm going after Kopitar then. You don't want to deal with me? I'll go take care of Kopitar and we'll see how that feels. And that's not what you want. You want right. people to handle their own business the way Edler did. It's, it's, it's an unfair fight, yeah, but it's over with now. And I, and I don't even want to open up a can of worms, but the whole, the whole Steve Moore thing was the same way. He fought Matt Cook earlier in that game, and it's a very, very sensitive topic, I know, in Vancouver. Understood. But he fought Matt Cook earlier in that game. It wasn't, it wasn't a fair fight. He probably got the better of Cookie, and that's why Vancouver didn't feel like there was you know, enough justice there. So right. we all know what happened afterwards, and that's exactly what's not going to happen anymore because Edler stepped up to the plate and fought his own battle. And, and this isn't a follow-up to that specific situation but Mike that that's what I think the code is intended to do is the rest of the game can be more dangerous than one fight if you don't squash the beef well it's fine oh T, I mean I mean I'm not gonna put words in Kevin's mouth but I would assume we used to have some problems with our captain in Los Angeles because Brownie could hit like a truck but he didn't he didn't didn't fight, so somebody else would have to. And right. I'm assuming that's why with Kopitar would take his medicine because Brownie would hit like a truck but wouldn't answer the bell. Um, and he was a great player, and I love Brownie too. But that was one of those those issues. I would I just have a quick for Kevin. Does the does it something like that end? Like so, if Simmer last night, and this is the part that I I mean I I do think that ended properly. But if Simmer had kept punching. Um, and you know, put a little bit extra into it at the end instead of showing the respect he does. Does that put the onus on the on somebody on Vancouver to step up to the plate that maybe you know? Well, I don't even know who fights on their team anymore, like Bert Hannon or somebody that has to now address Simmons. Yeah, like it would be McEwen probably. Yeah, McEwen would be right. kind of the guy that's what's watching that. And that you know, that being said, he's he's a, he's a young guy, so he probably doesn't really know quite how to handle that situation, but. We're fortunate, and everybody in that game was fortunate that it was handled the right way. And, and not only did Edler handle it the right way by saying yes to a fight that he has no idea what he's doing, but Simmons also handled it, handled it the right way. He won the fight. He got a couple punches in, but he didn't pound Edler into the ice, and he realized this is a huge mismatch. This is an enormous mismatch. I need to win the fight. It's like when you wrestle with your, with your younger brother. You, you're going to toss him around, and you're going to let him know who's boss, but you're not going to pound the kid into the ground. He's, you know what I mean? So that's, that's kind of the, the mentality, I think, that Simmons probably had. I, I, I got to win the fight. I got to hit him once or twice. But I can't, I can't bury this guy because it's not a fair fight. And that's why it was handled the right way. All right, last one. And, and listen, I, I know that um, some people don't see it this way. So I want to I, I see if both of you see it this way. And, and it have to be quick. But, Kevin, the keepers of the code are usually the most honorable guys on the ice. Are they not? Yeah, you, you would usually, think so. I mean, the, the, the most most honorable guys I played with were usually the tough guys, right? Because right? they're the guys that are putting their bodies on the line, and, and a lot of times they're doing it for other people. They're not even doing it for themselves. Forget about sticking up for themselves. They're sticking up for, for other people. So the, the code is just thrown around so much, and, and not everybody yeah. understands it. And the game within the game, and it's not – you can't just say the code for every situation. Everything's different. There's so much going on, and – there's so much like, like Edler's got no fights, Simmons has a lot. But you know what? Edler's a big guy. He's 6'3". He's 215 pounds. Simmons is 6'1", 185 pounds. Right. So technically, Edler's bigger than... We're not talking about 
Derek Bugard fighting Johnny Goudreau here. Like, th that factors in as well. Like, yeah, Edler takes the fight, and it's a mismatch in the sense where Simmons has way more fights, but right. Edler's bigger than him. So we, th th that kind of evens it out a little bit, right?